I was 14 years old and uh, in New Zealand track and field is mandatory so I really had no choice in the decision to run track but uh, I did and I fell in love with it. I've made almost all of my friends run track and so uh, throughout the years track's basically been the one thing that um, has connected me with all my closest friends. It teaches me discipline so um, it's just really been a key factor in my life and it's helped me in school and with um, many other aspects of my life. I think the biggest uh, challenge that I've faced is uh, not doing as well as you'd hope to do. So you know you train every single day in the rain and the cold and the heat in the summer and then when you don't perform as well as you might wanted to you get really upset and that's been the hardest thing about track for me. When I get old and uh, lazy I'll quit but I'm not for the next 20 years. I can see myself doing it until I'm at least 40. The big blue beach house on the corner of Downing has been in our family for generations. Every year we spend the 4th of July with our cousins and grandparents, everyone huddled under blankets enjoying the fireworks show. My dad taught me how to ride my bike without training wheels, using the wet sand as a cushion for every time I fell. I remember swinging on the swings with my sister, watching the sunset. Our family would go on long walks along the shore searching for sand dollars. We've had bonfires on the beach and roasted marshmallows. We've celebrated birthdays, had barbecues, and even had our Swedish relatives come down. The beach house is important to me because it allows us to forget about all the stressful distractions with my school and my parents' work. We can just relax and enjoy each other's company. The best part about going to my beach house is waffles. We have waffles every morning. It's my grandmother's recipe and the best in the entire world. They are cooked to a golden brown on an antique waffle iron we've had forever. You never get tired of having them, even after having them every morning. And one day I hope to continue this tradition and bring my own kids there. I started cutting snowflakes a couple years ago with my mom and my brother. It was December, so we were getting ready for Christmas, and it's not usually very snowy in Portland, so we just like to make the house look as festive as we can. I like to cut snowflakes because it gives me a little creative outlet. I'm not great at other kinds of arts, so having a craft that I'm good at is fun, and it relieves a lot of stress, and my mom does not always appreciate my snowflake cutting because it leaves a lot of tiny scraps of paper around the house and sometimes she thinks it's a little over decorated in our house and a little tacky and cluttered but you know i think it just adds so much to the christmas spirit and nothing makes me happier than just spreading holiday cheeriness i mean a couple years ago i made a menorah i built a menorah out of wood and put little candles on it and that was so much fun too. It's all the same. It's not all about Christmas. It's about having a great time in the holidays and making everything as happy as possible.